Uh, good afternoon, my name is Abhi. I'm a graduate student in computer science and I work on multi-agent control of microgrids. Uh, now consider the problem at hand. Uh, you have three buildings, let's call them buildings on Michigan Tech's campus. Uh, students come in early in the morning and their electricity consumption in the building goes up. People turn on the lights, people turn on heaters. When they leave back in the evening, you know, you have to shut everything in the building down. Let's assume each building has its own generator and it has its own load, so lights and heating systems and so on. Each building is rather self-sufficient, self-contained, uh, but turns out if you, when you use a large machine to power small loads, it is incredibly inefficient. So you would think it would make sense to, to have one machine in one building power all the other buildings during periods of low consumption. Now in the past, uh, researchers have tried that. They have a central computer that dispatches power to buildings as they need them. Uh, there are certain problems to that approach that we hope can be resolved using the multi-agent technology. So agents are just, you can think of them as software minions that sit on top of each building and they have the ability to be smart. So for example, you could train a software agent to predict what the shape of this graph is going to look like. They can tell you, for example, students, based on the history of data, students are likely to come in at 8 a.m., likely to leave at 5 p.m. So based on that, they have the ability to be smart. They have the ability to be replicable. So once you build this infrastructure for buildings on campus at Michigan Tech, you could port it to some other location. You could use it for a new army base. You could use it for a campground, anything. They are, the platform is extremely replicable. They are also scalable. You can start with three buildings without need for reprogramming or reconfiguring the network. You could just add one more building. You could just add one more node. It makes it easier and builds plug and play capabilities. And lastly, and more importantly, they're extremely resilient, by which I mean they offer redundancy. Let's consider, for example, uh, the infrastructure between building A and building C breaks down. Uh, the agent-based communication pr platform is independent of the physical infrastructure of how these buildings are configured. So even if this were to break down, building C could still request power from building A through building B. And by building small blocks of independent, autonomous, intelligent agents, we believe that we can prepare uh, the world to meet the challenges of tomorrow's electric problems. Thank you and have a nice day.